So, so on, Paulie Malanaji was given an interview. Um, Paulie said that um, he feels that Manny Pacquiao was dirty uh, to ch achieve what he did in the sport. Um, he said that he's less critical of Pacquiao now, though, because he feels that most fighters are cheating. And so, so he goes, I, I'm not, I, I don't give Pacquiao as much stick because I've realized now, which I didn't, ha I didn't have the knowledge before when I was criticizing Pacquiao, is that most fighters are actually cheating and on, on the gear because uh, in order to stay at elite for a, a very long time, uh, like some of these fighters do, you have to be doping. Uh, what did you make of Paulie Malinadi's comments? Personally, I think that he's saying that because before when Pacquiao was on his dominant you know, winning spree, I, don't, I, I think he refused to random blood and urine testing. And yeah. that itself gives you a massive... If someone's refusing and making excuses like, oh, he's scared of needles and stuff as an excuse, being a fighter, people don't really buy into that. And to be honest, it, it, that only the percentage of him being on the gear was probably more likely because his excuse was absolutely... That's, that's, not, that's not an excuse that you're scared of needles. You can't use that as an excuse. So I think personally, if I was to, if I was, to, if someone said to me that no, I'm not going to take a drugs test being an athlete, then you have to think they're on the gear. If he was on the gear. It's as simple as that. Because if he's refusing, there's no reason for him to refuse. You can't refuse being an athlete. If it's part, and it's pr I don't think it was. They needed it was compulsory. Then now it's compulsory. But and now I think he does it now. And in the Mayweather fight, he took it. That's why that Mayweather fight happened. And people give Mayweather a lot of stick saying that, oh, he didn't fight Pacquiao. Pacquiao didn't agree to the random blood and urine testing. So you can't blame someone like Mayweather to not take the fight. Someone like Mayweather is a clean fighter. He does, he's not, he doesn't, he, if someone's going to beat him, he wants someone to beat him the hard way, not just get cut corners and t take drugs, you know? But to be honest, I, don't, I, don't, I think Paulie Malinaji's right. I don't, I, I don't disagree with him. Maybe he respects him now because he's not, he takes a random blood and urine testing. And obviously he's a clean fighter now. But maybe before, he was on it. He, maybe he wasn't, maybe he wasn't. But for him not to take it suggests that he was. So that's his own fault really. Because that gives the public... Maybe he doesn't care what the public thinks. But when you've got... When you've, got, uh, when you've done that much in a sport, you don't want to dent your legacy by not doing something that's really, really minor. Something like that. It's really... It's, it's not really something that's going to take a lot of time or, you know, it's just random blood and urine testing that they do as an athlete. If you're a clean athlete, you take it. You ain't got nothing to be worried about. Maybe we don't know what, his, what, what, what he was thinking by it. We're not too sure. We're not in Pacquiao's mind. But to be honest, that people, when they look back on his career, they're going to think about, they're going to talk about these things. And as a fighter, well, that do really... You think, do you think what you saw from his... Um, career, especially in that period, that obviously Pacquiao was looking too good. He was looking on another level. Uh, do you think, looking at him there, that you would, that he looked like he was on the gear? Personally, he could have been because b back then, when he was on that winning spree, there wasn't much emphasis on drugs and people taking drugs at that time in sport compared to how it is now. You got to realize boxing's evolved a lot within the last ten years in terms of you know, catching these drug cheats. And I don't think before there was a, like a procedure in place to catch these drug cheats as well as, the, as well as it is now. So personally, if I was to say, I have to say he was on it because he refused and his excuse was not good enough. You can't make an excuse like that. So personally, if you're going to ask me, I think he was a drug cheat. I, don't, I, think, he, I think he was on the gear. Because if you refuse to take a drugs test, you must be on the gear. There must, you're hiding something. So, it is what it is. Alright guys, there you have it. Um, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.